is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video in this video today we are going to be doing a galaxy oppo nikola Jokic game but by passing ability will make them go wow i've never seen this from a big man but before we dive into that shout out to my guy big head ninja for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible if you are new to my channel and have not yet please smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 50 000 subscribers Look at Jokic here, 7 feet tall, 250 pounds, 93 3-ball, 95 driving dunk. Talk about a glitched card. An 86 ball handle, defensively 90 block, 90 interior, great rebounder, 93 speed. This was an 83 lateral quickness. So similar to the Dirk Nowinski card, if you are going to run this card in like a competitive type setting, the defensive Kobe Grinches is probably the shoe that is best for Jokic. 100 driving dunk tendency happening on down to the defensive tendencies here are absolutely incredible. 24 out of fame badges, catch and shoot quarter specialist, acrobat, relentless finisher, dimer, rim protector, box intimidator, contact finisher, pick and roller, Hall of Fame, Showtime, Needle Thunder, Green Machine, Hot Start, Range Center, and Volume Shooter as well. There's 32 gold badges, break starter, clamps, hard crush, interceptor, moving truck rebound, chaser, pogo stick, post move lockdown. Does have Tyler's defender, worm, bailout, downhill, quick first step, unpluckable, all on gold as well as flexible hot zone hunter and the gold brick wall. Badge you might want to look to give Jokic chase down artist is the first one that I see that he could definitely use. Slippery off was another one. Handles for days if you are going to be dribbling the ball with him. Slithery finisher, pro touch, any of those finishing badges also could help the seven foot big man. Looking at Jokic here, the seven foot speed boost and like just look at him, man. It's just absolutely incredible that we got centers that can move like this Jokic can. What in the world? Hold up. Now, I knew he had a set shot, but this release on Jokic doesn't look that bad. Like, I don't know. Look at the, the upper is weird. Okay, so if you focus on the upper, it might be tough. But nah, this release isn't the worst, right? You can get by with this release. Now, I wasn't expecting this release on, on the first one. And I will be the first to say, I don't like Bonger's release as much as most people. But the thing is, it, it is not bad on Jokic, right? He's going to be able to green at least a decent amount of shots. And when we'll, we'll really be able to see when we do an actual gameplay, hop into Unlimited, kind of what, what shots can Jokic green? What can he not green? Because right now, he's looking pretty knocked down. Especially, I kind of like the upper on it. Now, it is important to note from the corner, sometimes they will shoot long twos, okay? Just sometimes. That's something I have noticed with the Bonga type release. Now, obviously, on current gen, in the half court, it's all basically speed glitch for centers. That's basically all there is going to be able to do in the half court. Now, in the full court setting, we'll see what Jokic is working with. Let's see if I remember right. Okay, yeah, they did give him this souped up behind the back, which is absolutely incredible for this Jokic card. So, speed-wise, he's going to be just fine, obviously, has a nice behind the back that I personally like quite a bit. Release wise, it's interesting. I don't love Bonga's release and I'll be the first to say it, but it's a lot better than the release he had before. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Look at my opponent here and this is a perfect matchup to get Nikola Jokic gameplay, which I'm trying to do. I should be able to flood this guy. Yes, sir. Come on, Jokic. It's really your time to shine, Jokic. We already did Dirk, right? We've already seen what Dirk is about. Now it's your time. Okay, you don't want to... Oh my goodness, bro. I just... Look, I know hit that release is not that bad, but it's just for me to look at the Bonga release, I don't like it. I've always had something against it, and it's nothing, nothing specifically to Jokic. It's just I've just never particularly liked the Bonga release. He did he did knock down his first shot, so I can't really hate too much, right? Since he was able to get it to go, I can't really hate on it quite, you know, quite as much as I maybe would like to yet. Jokic to the cup. Oh, yes. Duncan on top of Jared Sullinger. That's the glitch part of the card that you love to see. I mean, he's just going to run right past Sullinger nearly every single time. I just, look, it might be tough for me to ever get that release down. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I've never liked Bonga's release. And it's just going to probably continue in this gameplay. Oh, my goodness. Jokic just killed Derrick Rose for a Showtime slam. Forget about the release for a second. If he can be slamming like that, that is what you love to see. Chill, come here. It's a die. Come on. Stop playing with my man's Giannis like I'm not green, man, with Giannis. You pause me for no reason. Doesn't Jokic have Hall of Fame Dimer, too? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with this, Solinger? Poor man. Poor man. Oh, yeah. Just get him out of here. Get him out of here early and often. 
We saw what Jokic was like in that short unlimited gameplay. And really what we saw in that unlimited gameplay is how he can create his own right showtime dunk. And that's what I was looking for more than anything right now. I need to see this release on display. That's why we are going to head right into a triple threat online game. Yeah, good defense. You you know whose rebound it is. Oh yeah, look at Jokic. Ah, ah, ah. I just want to... Oh. I just don't know about his release, man. I knew I knew when I made my first video that his release, it was a set shot, right? Set shots always have this just kind of weird thing to it, and I just don't know about his set shot. I'm sure a lot of you guys like his release. And that's the thing. Like, I'm sure his release isn't objectively as bad as I'm making it seem. Right there is a green light. But I just struggle. I'm struggling with it for really no reason. I shouldn't be struggling as much as I am because it is the bonga release, which... Although I don't love it, it's it's serviceable, right? Compared to the release he had before, it is definitely a lot better. It's a big upgrade. Good board, Sealy. Come on. Come on, Jokic. Give me two greens in a row. There we go. All right. Starting to get this release figured out. There's back-to-back -back greens. I got a steal on that, I guess. I'll take it over to Jokic. Showtime me. Look at Jokic. He's got takeover. My team's about got takeover because the Hall of Fame Showtime badge. That should be mine. Board man, board man Jokic, uh-huh, board man Jokic. Green. I got the green, man. I just got to green with Jokic. I do like the golden pluck on him because that just makes his playmaking, playmaking ability that much better. But it just comes down to can I green consistently with the card? Board. Board. green i just can't i don't know what it is i can't green with nikola Jokic. i can't i've tried and i've tried and i've tried yes i've greened a couple of shots but it's just i hate watching him shoot i just hate his release i would say Jokic moves well like although i don't necessarily like his release i like the way he moves and oh my word nikola Jokic dunks on top of people you guys can see the finishing badges pop up the relentless finisher i'm pretty sure he has contact finisher as well so those badges definitely help out when Jokic does attack the rim. Hey. Over to Jokic. You know what color that should be. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know what I got to do to green a shot. I think the majority of the time with Jokic, I'm early. So if I just make an exerted effort to hold it down a little bit longer, I think I'll be just fine. But it's just all about finding your rhythm with him. And right now, I'm just uncomfortable every time he shoots the ball. Green. I just, I just, I'm guessing. It's just a guessing game right now for Jokic. Like, that's in the catch and shoot situation, too. Like, am I just better off to dribble with it? No, I'm just not good all around with his release. But although I didn't green that many shots, he still had 22 points, three rebounds, one steal, one block, eight of 11 from the field, and six of nine from deep. So although I've just harped on how bad his I don't or how much I don't like his release, he does other things for you. Obviously he had takeover, so you see the boosted stats. But stat-wise, this card is elite. My final takeaway on this Galaxy Opal Nikola Jokic is that he is a top five center in the game. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, yo, he's better than Anthony Davis. He's better than all these people. But here's my thing. Even when you compare Jokic to Moses Malone, straight up, who do I think is better? I think it's a tough question. I, I really truly do think it's a tough question to compare these two cards. Obviously, Moses is a lot better on the defense end. Jokic is a little bit better on the offense end. I think it's close. So when you're comparing Jokic to Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis, I do think it's close as well. I'll take Dirk Nowinski over Jokic, and I don't even think it's close. I really don't think it's close. Dirk is way better than Jokic in almost every way possible. That's just my opinion. A lot of that goes back to the release. I could green consistent with Dirk. Felt like I was comfortable coming off a of peak with Dirk and greening shots. Whereas Jokic, I wasn't nearly as comfortable. Now, that's my opinion. That's on current gen as well. I do think Anthony Davis can give Jokic a run for their money. So if you're running AD, don't feel like you have to make a change because Anthony Davis is the real deal. But that's my final takeaway. No doubt about it. Jokic is a top five, probably top three center in NBA 2K21. I think Jokic might be more expensive 
than this dirt card we'll see when everything settles down but i definitely think Jokic is going to be more expensive so don't pay anything more for Jokic than dirt okay just don't do that that's kind of where i would where i would just limit yourself nothing over 300k for nikola Jokic. but that is gonna wrap it up for the video i hope you guys did enjoy it drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day